Coming up on today's episode of Airborne and Man, Avalon and Vertical Aerospace confirm massive eVTOL aircraft order. Also, tethered aerial vehicle flies 108 hours continuously. And Navy's first unmanned test squadron changes command. Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. So check this out. Avalon and Vertical Aerospace have agreed on a groundbreaking $2 billion order for up to 500 electric eVTOL aircraft. Building out of technologies heretofore pioneered by the autonomous air vehicle industries, Avalon and Vertical Aerospace have agreed on a groundbreaking agreement. This agreement, which is subject to certain conditions, will introduce the ultra-short-haul aircraft category to commercial aviation. The agreement will see both companies collaborate throughout the development, roadmap to certification, and subsequent commercial rollout of the VAX-4. Avalon will join Microsoft, Rolls-Royce, Honeywell, and American Airlines as equity investors in Vertical, working also with Virgin Atlantic, who will be a VAX-4 launch airline customer in Europe. Avalon, through its newly incorporated Affiliate Avalon E will become the customer for the VAX4 and subject to appropriate operating, delivering and business requirements being met. We'll order aircraft valued at $1.25 billion with delivery commencing in late 2024 with an option to acquire additional aircraft up to a value of $750 million. Avalon E has been established by Avalon to focus on investment in the zero emissions eVTOL sector. Coming up after the break, Eve Urban Air Mobility partners with Ascent. More news after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. EVE Urban Air Mobility partners with Ascent. EVE Urban Air Mobility Solutions has partnered with Ascent for development of the urban air mobility ecosystem in Asia-Pacific markets. The partnership could advance the entry of EVE's eVTOL aircraft into Ascent's growing technology platform that allows users to book charter flights as well as flights by the seat and orchestrate UAM operations. Ascent currently includes a database of air operator partners that are dedicated to UAM operations throughout Thailand and the Philippines and is said to expand its presence in the region. Electra unveils hybrid electric aircraft. 
Electra Arrow has unveiled its first commercial product intended for service in the regional air mobility market. The aircraft is designed to operate out of areas shorter than a soccer field including rooftops and parking lots. Electra's blow lift technology, where the electric motor-driven propellers blow air over the entire span of the wing and its flaps, allows safe, energy-efficient takeoff and landings at speeds below 30 miles per hour, while cruising at high speeds of 200 miles per hour. Our environment is moving to a new home. Aerovironment is relocating its corporate headquarters from Simi Valley, California to Arlington, Virginia, effective on June 15th. The greater Washington, D.C. area is where many of our key customers are located, and expanding our presence in the region will further our access to decision makers, influencers, and talent, said Wahib Nawabi, our environment president and chief executive officer. Things are going back to normal at ASTM International. A notable player in the unmanned technology industry, ASTM International has announced plans to host their fall committee week in person from October 3rd until the 8th in Atlanta, Georgia. Following a review of pandemic metrics, government guidelines, and member survey results, the organization will be closely monitoring the guidelines set by the CDC, state, and local governments, and the hotel venue to ensure compliance at the time of the meeting. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Tethered aerial vehicle flies 108 hours continuously. Zenith Aerotech has, over the span of a week, flown its Quad 8 multi-rotor platform for a total of 161 hours and 49 minutes, 108 hours of which were continuous, uninterrupted flight. Small multi-rotor type drones are notorious for their limited air endurance. By contrast, tethered Aerial vehicles would draw power from a generator on the ground, can stay aloft for hours at a stretch, said Cutley Kaya, CEO of Zenith Aerotech. The test, which took place over a seven-day period at the company's facility in Afton, was initiated at the request of a government customer prior to delivery. The Quad 8 TAV, which carried an electro-optical infrared camera and an Ecodyne EcoFlight radar, flew for most of that time, only coming down twice during lightning storms, which had to be waited out. Kaya added that our team was on site around the clock, with people taking eight-hour shifts to watch the TAV and the ground-powered tethered management system. There were two times we had to bring down the Quad 8, but as soon as the storm subsided, the TAV was back in the air. We flew through 18 hours of light to heavy rain, with wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour. After the break, I'll tell you who is now in command on the Navy's first unmanned test squadron. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Navy's first unmanned test squadron changes command. 
Lieutenant Colonel Gary Mouth Schill recently took command of Air Test and Evaluation Squadron 24 from Commander Daniel Hugs Martin during a ceremony at Naval Air Station Patuxent River's Webster Outlying Field. Prior to joining UX-24 as chief test pilot in April 2020, Schill served as government flight test director for the F-35 Lightning Integrated Test Force, where he previously supported the U.S. Marine Corps' first deployment of the F-35. During his time with the Lightning program, he led efforts to complete the F-35 system development and demonstration enabling fleet delivery of the newest version of the aircraft and F-35 continuous capability development and delivery providing capability improvements. He also served as deputy program manager for the Small Tactical Unmanned Aircraft Systems Program. UX-24 is the service's only dedicated UAS test squadron. The squadron provides research, development, and test services for groups 1 through 4 UAS, including operational platforms like the RQ-20B Puma, RQ-21 Blackjack, and MQ-8 Fire Scout. Located at NAS Patuxent River Webster Outlying Field, the squadron operates across the installation's unique facilities featuring two 5,000-foot runways, direct entry into restricted operating areas, exclusive use areas available for small UAS, proximity to water for maritime operations, and a dedicated UAS operation center. Well, that does it for our show today. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Don't forget to subscribe to YouTube. You can also catch us on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.